Hey everyone, welcome to Daily Dose, I'm Chris Riley, and today we're gonna to be going through my approach to the CTPA, or CT pulmonary angiography, looking for PE. So you have your patient in the emergency department, they're coming in with this pleuritic chest pain, a little bit of shortness of breath, maybe some tachypnea, satting okay, 93%, and you're thinking to yourself, could it be PE? Obviously, you can go to your point of care ultrasound at bedside, but if this point of care ultrasound is inconclusive or maybe the patient's body habitus isn't allowing you to do that, you go right to the CT scanner and get your study done. So whenever I'm looking at a CTPA, I'm always starting in our axial cut and I'm going to the pulmonary artery. I'm making sure that this is an adequate study by seeing that pulmonary artery light up bright white compared to the ascending aorta to the right of it. So after I see that this is an adequate study, I then follow the pulmonary artery trunk to each main pulmonary artery first. We're gonna start with the right side here, and as you can see, there's multiple segmental and subsegmental filling defects consistent with acute PE. I then use a quadrant approach looking in all four quadrants of that axial cut to make sure I'm not missing any other pathology that could be hiding there. After looking for my PE, I'm then gonna look for signs of increased pulmonary hypertension. And there's two things I want you to keep an eye out for. The first thing I want you to look for is the size of the pulmonary artery trunk compared to the ascending aorta. At this cut, the pulmonary artery should be smaller or just equal in size to the ascending aortic root. If that pulmonary artery trunk is larger than the ascending aorta, that's either chronic pulmonary hypertension from obstructive sleep apnea or COPD, or it's an acute PE, massive enough that it's causing backup of that venous blood consistent with right heart strain. In addition to that, we can go to this cut right here to see if the right ventricle is the same size as the left ventricle. In a normal heart, the RV should be less than or just about equal to the size of the LV. If the RV is the same size or greater than the LV, like in this case, then we know that there is acute right heart strain or again, that chronic pulmonary hypertension in a patient who incidentally also has a PE. And that's my quick approach to a CTPA looking for PE.